first <coughs> we're going to be looking at celebrations around the world and we start the celebration with the celebration that attracts the largest congregations on earth the Kum Mela um, and Pandit Nayan Vyas will be talking to Steve uh, our first guest Pandit Nayan Vyas Good afternoon Nayan thank you very much for coming into the studio this afternoon first of all let's start with your name may we please Pandit what, what's that uh, priest, Hindu priest. Right. I'm a Hindu priest in a Hindu temple, Newcastle. That's on the on the West Road, west isn't road, it? Yes. On the West Road. Yes. Right. And we're going to be talking especially about the Kumbh Mela. Yeah. Um, could you explain first of all the name? What does it mean? Um, Kumbh Mela. Kumbh is a is kind of pot. Kumbh is a pot. So Kumbh is a name in like Hindi and Sanskrit. We call it Kumbh. So. It, it came from a long time ago when uh, God, uh, Devas and Asuras, Asuras means devils, they done Samudra Manthan, um, like sea, and then from Samudra Manthan they found a pot of Amrita. So Amrita is a, if you, if you have Amrita, you will be immortal, you. So, and it, it, according to the past, the Lord Vishnu was taking it away from the devils, so they, they can't have it. And he accidentally split it over the four places. Ah, right. So that four places at the minute, we celebrate at the four places, the Kumbha. So that's how we come. I see. So. These four places are, are all in India. Yes. Yes. Um, what are they? Uh, they are uh, one is a Prayagraj, Kumbh Mela, which is holding it now at the minute, which is on. So is Allahabad as well. Uh, another one is um, Haridwar Kumbh Mela, uh, and next one is Nasik or Chambakeshwar Kumbh Mela, and fourth one and last one is Ujjayanya. Ujjayana place. Right, so we we understand why you're celebrating it. Yeah. Now, what exactly happens then during the celebrations at these four places? So during the celebration there is lots many things going on, uh, lots many rituals will be followed, but mainly uh, these four places have rivers, holy rivers. So in Allahabad, uh, Haridwar, Nasik and Ujjain the main festival site is located on the bank of rivers. Right. So in Allahabad, there's a Ganga, um, Haridwar. Uh, Haridwar is a Sangam, Ganga and Yamuna, and invisible Saraswati. Uh, at uh, Allahabad, at the minute that there is running, so there is a Ganga, Yamuna, and invisible Saraswati Sangam. Three rivers. Sangam it calls because they're together. Right, right. So at the minute there's a sort of confluence of, yeah, uh, of yes, three rivers. Yes. Right. So Ganga in Haridwar uh, and Kshipra in Ujjayanya and Godavari River uh, in Nashik. So they all happen happening in like river banks. Right. Um, and are the rivers selected for any particular reason or is it just that uh, no, they're, as I they're, said, they're large? As I said um, I, I, according to Hinduism, the Lord Vishnu split the drops and it converts into river. Right. That, that's a belief. Right. And, and that's why uh, the, the taking a bath in that river at this time is is very very auspicious. Right. We'll talk. We'll talk a little bit more about that then in the second half of our chat. But first of all, could you please tell me what piece of music you've chosen for us? Uh, it's. Uh, devotional music uh, Rudra Siva so it's actually attached with the Kumbha so Siva and Kumbha so that's that's a Rudra Rudrashtakam. <laughs> 